right, guys, event number one, wad number two is seven two minute rounds of overhead squats. Okay? So, what we're going to do is per round, you get two attempts at an overhead squat. You only need to do one successful, but if you mess up on one, you have one more attempt to do another overhead squat. Okay? You can start at whatever weight you want to. You have to increase by a minimum of five pounds each round. Okay? Your score will be the cumulative total weight done with your reps, right? Your successful reps. Um, and then there is a tie break at the end. So at the end, uh, in round seven, okay, pull ups, as many pull ups as you can do. If you're going to do them banded, fine, keep track of that on your scorecard and make sure you enter that in on the WAD lab, okay? Does anybody have any questions on the workout? Can you just say it again? I'm sorry. It's seven yeah. two minute rounds okay. of overhead squats. Each round, you get two attempts at one successful lift. Okay. So to clarify, if you do your first lift and it's successful, that remaining time in the two minutes is a break. Okay. If it's unsuccessful, you drop it, you lose your balance, you fail to lock out or something, get in under the bar, you still have the time to do another attempt, another rep. But if you miss it, then you get zero points for that round, right? Or zero weight is, is done for that round, okay? You can continue on. Yes. Yes. You can go up as, mi as much weight as you want. It's a minimum of five pounds, though. You'll stay at that weight. It's got to be a successful lift. It's got to be a successful lift. Okay? Is it only one per two minute round count? Yes. So, to now clarify on the two attempts, right? You do your first one, 95 pounds, you do your whole squat, you bring it back down, and you've got a minute and 50 seconds, you're done. You can't add weight in, your, in that same round. That's it. One attempt. Two attempts at one weight per round, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You can set your bar up. That's correct, right? So as you guys are doing it here, you just leave your plates here at the end and all that stuff. You're going to do it from the rack. You're going to do it from the rack, okay? Uh, any questions on the actual workout and how it's done, all that kind of stuff, right? And, re and the remaining time, and that's, yes. So in round seven, you get your successful lift right into your pull-ups. The remaining time is pull-ups, okay? After your second attempt in round seven, if you still miss it, the remaining time is still for pull-ups, but clearly you're not gonna get any credit for any weight performed because you didn't, it's a tie break. So for example, if Jerry gets 800 pounds and I get 800 pounds and we get to the pull-up, whoever gets more pull-ups gets the higher ranked higher with 800 pounds, okay? Does anybody have any questions on this workout? Realistically, it's 14 attempts, but only seven completed reps count. If you completely bomb out of one round, right, you get zero points for it, zero because you didn't complete it, okay? So this is more strategy, and you are, might you might want to do this workout a couple times, right? You want to try to figure out where you're going to be strong at. You know, this is going to, you're going to feel this one out. You might want to do this one a couple times. Again, it's strategy, big time strategy, okay? Any questions other than that? I'm moving into the movement standards now, okay? So you're doing these from the rack, all right? I'm going to just pull it out here, face you guys, all right? So Get yourself set up with the bar. It's an overhead squat. Any grip that you want to do, snatch grip, jerk grip, whatever you want to do, as long as the bar is overhead. Once the bar goes overhead, it cannot touch your body or go lower than the top of your head. Does that make sense? Okay. So from this position, bar up overhead, 
Make sure you get your hip crease below the knees and full extension back up at the top. All right, that counts as a successful lift. If you lose your balance and you drop the bar, it's up to you to get it back up overhead. If you need to strip your weight off to get it back up on the rack and then load your bar back up to that weight and then get it back up overhead, fine, it's up to you. You get two minutes, okay? Any questions on that? You cannot go lower. So whatever weight you get to, you can't go back down lower, but in order to keep going forward with weight, you have to add five pounds. Okay, so if you get to like 55 pounds and that's your max, you have to attempt 60, okay? Right, does anybody have any questions on this? Okay, failed reps or no reps, right? Not getting the hip crease below the knee, so a short squat, right? Not extending all the way at the top, knees and hips, arms, all that kind of stuff needs to be locked out at the top here. Right? Um, a failed attempt would be if you pick up the bar, you step out with it, and you go to push overhead, if you don't get it up overhead, that is an attempt. All right, to go overhead is your attempt. If you don't get it, that is a failed attempt. Anybody have any questions on that? Okay. Getting down, coming back up, losing it. Right, as long as you can get control of yourself again, that's fine. But if you lose it and drop the bar, clearly no rep, right? Anybody have any questions on the overhead squat control? As long as when you're at the top of your rep, your feet are flat on the ground. Your feet gotta be flat on the ground, can't be up on your tiptoes. Yeah, and can't be levitating. No levitating, all right? It's next week's wad, all right? Shh, all right. So, uh, pull-ups, okay? So, yeah, I know, right? So your pull-ups, right? Start with a dead hang in your arms. As long as your chin is clearly and visibly over the bar. And then when you come back down, your arms are fully extended. That's all I'm looking for. Any variation of pull-up you want to do. Strict pull-up, L pull-ups. Butterfly, kipping, whatever you want to do. As long as your chin is clearly over the bar at the top and your arms are fully extended at the bottom, that's all that matters, okay? All right, anybody have any questions on the overhead squat or the pull-up? Does anybody have any questions on this workout at all? Okay, all right. So, all right guys, go ahead, pair up with someone, 